Tom, too. You know it's a big night when he's in the house. The Tigers getting set to tangle with the UAB. Memphis at 15-5, and, and the Blazers come in at 13-7. and seven, A battle for first place in the National Division. Time to take a look at our starting lineups. Brought to you by First Tennessee Bank. All things financial. First of all, for the visiting Blazers, Eric Bush, Morris, Finley. They're the two guys that stir the drink for UAB. The head coach of UAB in his first year, the longtime Arkansas assistant, Mike Anderson. And for the Memphis Tigers, Antonio Burks, Anthony Rice in the backcourt with big Chris Massey in the middle. Rodney Carney, Dewan Irwin up front. The Tigers coached by John Calipari in his third year at the University of Memphis, 63 and 29. And that's a look at our starting lineups brought to you by First Tennessee Bank, all things financial. It is an absolutely special evening tonight. Larry Finch is in the house. Ronnie Robinson is in the house. Larry Keenan is in the house. The 73 NCAA Final Four team will be saluted. There's a look at Chris Massey and Johnny continues to get double doubles even though he is double and triple team. Larry Ware is your referee. Brad Ferry and Kyle Nave, your umpires for this evening's game. Tonight's opening tip-off is brought to you by Prairie Farms Ice Cream. Taste the homemade goodness of Prairie Farms. We are underway from the pyramid. The Tigers looking for five straight wins. UAB will try to bring a lot of pressure. They rely on a lot of turnovers and transition opportunities. A lot of steals also. And a lot of chances on the defensive end. Try to apply a lot of pressure. Carney top of the key. He's been red hot and it continues as he opens the game with a triple. Carney over 40% on the season from three-point land. Last five games now. That, that made 20 for 38 from the three-point uh, range. And that... Uh, Backs up your statement, yes, he has found the range from the three-point area. Tigers have been shooting very well with the exception of their game at Tulane, only 36.5% from the field, but were able to come away with the victory. Tulane has some new faces, that's one of them. Number 23, Demario Edens, a freshman and a pure shooter from Chicago, but it's Mo Finley who really does some damage. Here's Edens for three, way off the mark, but the ball goes right into the hands of Sidney Ball, and he tried to beat the shot clock, and he may have just barely beat it. Here comes Antonio Burks. What a difference, John. He's playing at 100%. UAB coaching staff very concerned about Burks. That's a big matchup that they feel they have to just hold their own in. They really respect his defensive capabilities and his skills for running this team. Massey is tied up by UAB, and possession arrow favors the Blazers. Well, Rodney Carney, as we said, John, has just been red hot from beyond the arc. Well, when you get in a rhythm, you really look forward to shooting, and you can see he's anxiously looking towards those opportunities, and he's delivering. For the year, the Blazers averaging 77 points a game, and they shoot 44% from the field. And you see Memphis shooting over the last six games from three-point land quite well. Good defense here by Carney. Oh, maybe good, uh, too good, John, because Carney leaned in the Sydney ball, and he's called for the first personal foul of the game. Yeah, a little too aggressive that time by Carney. But you'd much rather see a, a player, particularly early on, with extra aggression than passive and backing off. Here's Finley winding up for three, and he knocks it down. Morris Finley, the fourth leading scorer in the conference at 17 and a half points per game, and we're tied at three. And it's the clean-shaven Mo Finley. Anthony Rice struggled with his shooting at Zulane. Here's Burks. Got to find a way to get Massey some touches down low. There he is. He's going to pick up a foul that time. Kennedy just draped all over Massey. So concerned about the big guy setting up down low. But that time Massey had Kennedy on his back. They got to get him the ball. That's the Blazers' biggest player. 6'9", 240, Gabe Kennedy with the first personal. Tiger fans don't miss out on Pizza Hut's Tiger's Family Feast deal. Large specialty pizza and a large one-topping pizza. Plus a side order of breadsticks for just... 18.99. Right on cue, John. And there's a turnover by UAB. I must admit, I partook of some product earlier today. So... Highly recommend it. Go ahead and jump in there. Again, uh, nice job stepping in. Bush able to come up with it and good hustle on the backside. And Mr. Burks. Blazers get one back after forcing the turnover. They do it so well. One of the better teams in the conference. Massive inside misses. Good look, though. Again, when he's got guys on his back, that's an automatic signal to get it to him. Earl with a block. They're going to call a foul. 
Coming from the backside, the block was clean. I think he may have gotten him with a body afterwards, unable to stop his momentum. Irwin playing very well for the Tigers of late, Greg. Take a look. Lock is clean right there. Continues on. He actually came down on the back where the foul occurred. And that'll be the first against Red, the second against the Tigers. One against UAB, and here's Demario Eden, 65% from the free throw line, and he bricks the first. As a team, UAB shoots 69% from the free throw line. And Eddins converts on one of two. UAB leads 4-3. Good look at Mike Anderson, first year. UAB head coach and of course a longtime assistant with Nolan Richardson. 21 Arkansas. years, John. 21 years he's been with Nolan Richardson and 12 years as the lead assistant for Nolan. Here's Burks off the screen, double team, kicks it out to Carney for his three. In and out, stays out, rebounded by UAB. Blazers looking to run. That's what Mike Anderson brings to this team, John. Intensity. We remember 40 minutes of hell at Arkansas. He's trying to do that in Birmingham. Doesn't have the depth of athletes yet to really put that philosophy in, but uh, no doubt he knows about the pressure tactics firsthand, and you will see that develop as he gets his athletes in place. Also on the staff, Scotty Edgar. Yes, longtime assistant with Nolan as well. Also one on the head coach status himself. Good job by Massey recognizing oh, the nice steal by Burks. Burks with the steal and he lays it in. Great anticipation there by Antonio Burks. But you can't telegraph that pass when Mr. Burks is in the area. Nice job of anticipating and finishing. Lasers by a point, 6'5", 20 to go in the first half. Point I was mentioning, Massey doing a good job finding open men, and Irwin had a point blank shot. He's been knocking them down of late, as you mentioned, John, playing so well. There's a turnaround jumper by Edmonds. Make it uh, Kennedy. Kennedy with four. He's a junior college transfer from Bevel State Community College in Alabama, and he's been big, averaging over 14 a game over the last five for Mike Anderson. All right, Massey again's got a guy behind him, got to get in the ball. Can't stop him there. He missed his own shot, but it's just because he missed it. Again, they play behind him. You've got to get him the ball. Fans wanted a foul. They didn't get it. Bo Finley off the pick. Mismatch there. Irwin all over him, and Morris gets the ball back. Electrifying player that time inside the arc. Misses it out of bounds. It'll be Tigers basketball. Couple of changes for John Calipari when we return, but check out the quickness of Antonio Burks. What a difference maker he is at 100% for the Tigers. But Memphis trails early, eight to five. Come on, Joey, let's have some of Grandma's old recipe ice cream. Wow, it sure looks good. It is, Joey. There's a whole world of wonderful flavors in her old recipe ice cream. It starts with fresh cream and cane sugar, then in go all kinds of other great tasting treats. Gosh, did Grandma make it herself? Of course not, Joey. She goes to the store and buys it like everybody else. Taste the premium quality of old recipe ice cream from Prairie Farms. I want one size that fits me, not one size that fits all. I want to be able to change my mind for a change. I want a bargain without getting less than a bargain for it. All lots of choices. Just make it simple. Only Bell South has every answer. Local, long distance, singular wireless, internet services, and more on one bill. Call now to save up to 24% on select services. I want a new boyfriend. Listening, answering. Bell South. The Memphis International Auto and Truck Show is back and it's bigger and better. February 20th through 23rd at the Memphis Agri Center. See concepts of the future. Chrysler Pacifica, Pontiac Solstice, Dodge Charger RT, and Jeep Varsity. Just introduced 2004 models. Ford F-150, Pontiac Grand Prix, Chevrolet Colorado, Toyota Sienna Van, and Jeep Grand Cherokee. Plus new exhibitors, Nissan, Hummer, Mini Cooper, Infiniti, and Hyundai. See over 150 new cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs all at one place at one time. The Memphis International Auto and Truck Show. Gotta see it. Welcome back to the Pyramid. Tigers with an early lead, or an early uh, lead for UAB at 8-5. to five. Now, coming up at the end of the game, John and I will select the Kroger Player of the Game. Kroger will make a $1,000 donation to the General Scholarship Fund at the University of Memphis in the name of tonight's Player of the Game. Well, check this out, folks. Joining us now, one of our special broadcasters tonight. We have two of them. This is 9-year-old Blake Morgan from Dogwood Elementary in Germantown. He's a third grader, and he will be broadcasting over the next four or five minutes with us. And, Blake, I know you love the Tigers. Mm-hmm. Yes. Who's your favorite player? Uh, 
Chris Massey. Chris Mass, good choice. That's a wise uh, decision. Let's get the action. We'll let Blake also participate in this as uh, Burks kicks it outside. Here's Anthony Rice. Three. Oh, no. That was yeah, it was. It was a three. You're right on there, Anthony. He's for uh, Blake. Anthony is one of the better shooters on this team, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tigers regain the lead, or they tied up, I should say, at eight. And here comes Finley with an offensive board. You get a chance to look over UAB before you came here tonight? Yes. There's Eddins taking it right to the hole. He has three. And UAB regains the lead at 10 to eight. Recent University of Memphis live television auction on UPN 30. Good job by Massey kicking it out. UAB in a little bit of a zone. Good job by Burks on the perimeter. And Burks now has four. Blake's family able to outbid a lot of people who wanted to be a part of this broadcast. And Blake's with us today. And a little bit later on in the second half, Doug Collins will join us as well. And no, not that Doug Collins. There's Sydney Ball way off with the three. But a very important Doug Collins in our community. We'll get into that a little bit later. Massey creates a lot of problems. Everything collapses. He's able to kick it out, and you get open looks. The defense collapses on him, and Burke's the recipient of that nice inside-outside combination. And Mr. Massey, wherever he is, he draws attention, doesn't he, Blake? Yes. Big yeah. guy like that. He's a lot of guys... Uh, Got to follow him around. Of course, this is Blake's favorite player for the Tigers. We're going to go inside to Chris Massey. You see three guys in the general vicinity. That means somebody's got to be open. And who is it? Antonio. Antonio Burks right on cue there, Mr. Blake. Good job. There's big Chris Massey. And so far, they've done a pretty good job against him as UAB has the... Well, it's tied up now at 10, I should say. Tigers fans, don't miss out on Pizza Hut's Tigers Family Feast deal. A large specialty pizza and a large one-topping pizza. Plus a side order of breadsticks for just $18.99. Can you believe that, Blake? Only $18.99. Nope. Pretty good deal, huh? Do you ever eat Pizza Hut? Yes. That's, uh, that works for me, too. Good stuff. First inside of Messi. That time it was short, so Chris has got a couple of entry passes. Unable to score. Here's Eddins taking it to the hole, the running one hander, and ball over the back of Massey. Yeah, good and call. when you finally get the call, it was Larry Ware from almost half court having to make that call. Yeah, good job by Massey blocking out. And sometimes his size, he does not get a lot of calls where there is contact. John Calipari has been very vocal about that throughout the year. And clear call there, as you mentioned. A call a little bit late, but certainly the correct one. Massey did a good job blocking out. And the Tigers with a chance to regain the lead. Sydney Ball with a personal foul. Each team now has two. Billy Richmond in the game for the Tigers. John Grice as well. And he was the hero, wasn't he, the other night against Tulane? Yep. Yes. Three big triples for John Grice in the clutch as the Tigers eat one out over Tulane. Massey forcing that one. Telegraph it's stolen by UAB. Collins in the game. Jeffrey Collins gets the roll, and he was very productive last year, John, against Memphis. The freshman then 11 and a half a game against Memphis in his two get in two contests. Tigers got a little bit better job with moving the basketball around. That pass was deflected and ultimately picked off. A little crisper in terms of ball movement. UAB really sandwiching Chris Massey, two or three guys around him. That's going to create some open looks on the perimeter. Richmond off with that shot. Richmond coming off an 8.7 rebound and three steal performance at Tulane. Under 13 to go, first half, and the Tigers trail UAB by a deuce. Tigers in their customary man-to-man -man defense. They're trying to do a good job of stopping Greg and Blake, that dribble penetration in the perimeter. That's where they've had problems when teams have been able to get to the rim, forced to turn over. And Jeremy Hunt will enter the game for the Tigers. Number 34, Cedric Davis checks in for Mike Anderson's team. As you see Anthony Rice get a breather. How about that Jeremy Hunt, the freshman from Wait. Craigland High School? You like him? Yep, he's good. I like him. Well, How long have you been a Tiger fan, Blake? Since you were just a little guy? I don't know. I guess six. That's pretty good. Three years now under your belt. Not too <laughs> bad. Are you as quick as any of these guys? Think you can take them? I don't know. I, I don't know. So you get a few more years under your belt, then we'll have a, a legitimate test. Okay. Massey on the block. Nice. Count the bucket. And he's fouled. 
<laughs> That's your man, Blake. Solid move from Massey in time. One of the few times he's been able to operate, Greg, off the dribble. The defense has been collapsing on him this time. Good entry pass. Again, just too strong. Gets the contact, able to go up and through it. Again, good recognition. The defense behind him. One strong dribble and up. Basket's good, and he converts a three-point play. And Massey's been shooting his free throws very well. He's up to 67% as Clyde Wade checks in, converting the three-point play, and that gives Memphis the lead again at 13 to 12. So Wade in the game for Antonio Burks, and Wade some quality minutes off the bench the other night, and assist, two steals, no turnovers in eight minutes at Tulane. Well, again, when you come off the bench, the key thing is just to stay within what you do to contribute to the team. Don't try to do anything fancy. Just be consistent, and Wade has done that of late. Richard Jones way off of this three-point attempt. He's not a bad three-point shooter at 33%. Here's Jeremy Hunt from the wing. Air ball. So far, Eric Bush has been quiet, number three. The field general for UAB. Here's Collins inside the arc. That one's off, but Davis stolen right out of the hands of Jeremy Hunt. Give Davis credit on that one, John, as UAB regains the lead. Tigers with a lapse there defensively. Did not block out very well. As a result, gave up the easy offensive board and ultimately quick two. Rebounding more right now, owned by UAB, 13-4. Not a big team, their tallest player at 6'9", but they're doing a good job on the window. That one knocked away from Massey by Richard Jones, and here comes Tony Johnson, who's checked in for Mike Anderson's team. Pull-up jumper from the baseline there by Richard Jones, who averages 7.5 a game, and it's 16-13 UAB as John Calafari calls a timeout. 11.08 remaining in the first half, and the Tigers trail by three. UAB continuing to get pretty good looks. That's too easy. Shot on the baseline. Defense not there in time, and Doug Calipari quickly won the time. I did not like his defensive intensity. They had given up a follow-up. That time the defense not there quick enough, and Calipari quickly sensing his team needed a timeout, and a little shot in the arm. And coming up at the end of the game, John and I will select the supersonic shot of the game brought to you by the Brown Bag Special, only at Sonic, America's drive through Well, Blake, we had uh, a lot of action in Conference USA earlier today. Why don't you go ahead and, and read some of these scores? At Houston, 47, South Florida, 62. So there's a win for the Bulls. At East Carolina, 42. St. Louis, 56. Good job. Louisville, 73. Market, 70. And of course, the Tigers go to Freedom Hall later this week on Wednesday. Part of game. That's right. Here's Kearney for three. Brings down a little away with that triple. And the Tigers have tied it up again at 16. Of course, DePaul beating Southern Miss in overtime there, and at halftime, Charlotte with a 13-point lead over Cincinnati. That's a mild surprise, isn't it, yes. in terms of the margin. Dewan Irwin commits his second personal foul. That's three against the Tigers and three against UAB, but the Tigers from the outside have tied things up. Rodney Carney with his second triple of the first half. Harold calls me every Sunday to see how I'm doing. He's a good son. But uh, Peter calls me every day, so I like Peter better. With Cellular South's unlimited plan, you get unlimited anytime minutes. Don't wait for nights or weekends. Get the plan that's truly unlimited. Talk as much as you want, all day, every day. Harold takes after his father. Bless his heart. <laughs> In the Cellular South, when we say unlimited, we mean unlimited. <laughs> hey, Franklin. Yes. Uh, about that promotion. That's not going to happen. Oh, uh, well. But uh, I did get you a corn dog. Way to go, Hey, thanks. So we're cool, right? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Wow. It's Feel Good Food Month at Sonic, featuring the classics you love, like handmade onion rings, old-fashioned cherry limeades, and made-to-order burgers. And now get an extra-long cheese cone and tots for just $2.99. Not bad, Frank. That's what it's all about. <sighs> 
All I could see was the car, the van going into the ditch. Correct. Call 683-7000. My daughter said, well, Mama, you need to call Corey B. Try. You make one call to us, and we can make the rest. We went to see him once, and then next time went to see him, that was the check. Call us and find out about the money the insurance company is not telling you about. When I saw the money, I could have just flipped out. Call us now. It's the biggest check I ever got. I'm Corey B. Trotz. Trot man, he's there. Welcome back, 1032 remaining in the first half, and we are knotted up at 16 apiece. Making it clear no matter where news happens in your neighborhood, across America, or the world, when news breaks, we'll bring it to you. Eyewitness News coming up right after the game on UPN 30 WLMT. Jackson 16 is Hollywood's hottest stories, behind the scenes action, and exclusive interviews on Entertainment Tonight. Weeknights at 6 on Jackson 16 WJKT. Greg Gaston, John Albright, and Blake Morgan from the Pyramid. There's John Calipari looking on at his troops. Not happy with that because that's another foul call against Memphis. And look at the offensive rebounds. John, UAB is only shooting 38%, but on the boards, they are winning this war. Well, that tells you the Tigers have got to be quicker in terms of blocking people out. Tigers with a technical reaching over with contact with the ball over the line. Antonio Burks called for that. That's why John Calipari was upset. Not a foul, but a technical foul. Burks actually reached over the line on the inbounds. And Cal's talking with Larry Ware right now, trying to get a, an explanation, but Collins will go well, to the free throw line. What, what John's talking about, saying that the ball crossed the baseline, is what he was trying to say. Collins at the free throw line, in and out. This will not count as a personal foul against Antonio Burks. And Collins misses both free throws. And John, the explanation again why it's not a personal. Most people know a technical foul, usually a personal foul as well. Again, what John was saying, trying to get the referees to buy into, is that the inbounds player actually put the ball across the line. Did not matter, but tried to get his point across. But that offensive uh, rebound number is concerning because that speaks to defensive blocking out, and the Tigers not doing an especially great job to this point in the game. The last thing the Tigers need is to be lethargic. Really fortunate win at Tulane. Again, the most important thing, they got the win. That's all that matters. But the second half, the Tigers struggled in New Orleans earlier this week and really want to get things together tonight because a definite difficult battle on the horizon. Louisville winning a tough game against Marquette earlier today. There's Richard Jones knocking down the deuce, and it's 18-16. Full court pressure now. 2-2-1 two, two, press from UAB. Last personal foul was called on Jeremy Hunt, who takes the seat alongside John Calipari. Ten minutes to go, first half. Tigers trailing. UAB 18-16. Great defense by the Blazers. Good job by Massey. Tigers will get it on the alternating possession arrow. But the Tigers telegraphing some passes. The Tigers do not need a slip up. UAB right on the Tigers' heels. Of course, the Tigers already losing earlier to South Florida. They've got to go to South Florida later in the year. And of course, the earlier win this week against Tulane in New Orleans, winning both games in that series this year. Jeffrey Collins will be caught for the personal there on the reach, and Mike Anderson not happy with that one. Then again, when are coaches happy with fouls? Not going to see uh, too much agreement, no matter what the situation is from coaches. Each trying to get a slant their way. Blake, do you play basketball? Yes. Where do you play? Grayson Man. Okay, Grayson Man. Outstanding choice. I'm familiar with that uh, venue. Grice bombs the three. How about John Grice play? Kind of remind you of your shots uh, there in your league? You can say yes, it's okay. It looks, looks similar, I agree with you. Tigers four of six from beyond the arc. And they have the lead once again, 19-18. A nip and tuck first half here at the Pyramid. Tough shot. That was a chance. Three on two. Three on two. Burks pulls up, nobody around him, and he knocks it down. Antonio Burks now has six. That's right. 
Blake right on with the statistics. I'm a little concerned, Blake. You're doing such a good job. We already got calls for you to replace me. Bad job there by the Tigers. Jones slips behind the defense on a backdoor cut, and he's wide open. So Jones has six off the pine, the 6'5 freshman out of Oklahoma City. Again, full court pressure now from UAB. Tigers got to get across the timeline. Ten second call. They did not do it. They did not do it. And that's what UAB does so well, John, that full court pressure. Tigers again a little slow to react. That time too easy. Jones comes right off the screen. No adjustment. Got to communicate. And I think the Tigers unaccustomed to seeing a lot of full court pressure and uncertain what to do. And Unnecessary 10 second violation that time in the backcourt. Carney and Rice actually knocking into each other, lack defensive stop or lack of. And there's Jones with the three. He's 33% from beyond the arc, and he now has nine. Guys, here's the concern right now. UAB playing with a lot of confidence at this stage, over halfway through the first half. They believe they can get out of here with a win. That's the one thing you don't want a visiting team to believe. Rice picks up the foul. That'll go against Brandon Tobias, the 6'7 freshman out of Fort Lauderdale. So each team with four team fouls. As we've talked about, Greg, the Tigers' defense has got to be the consistent factor. The offense is going to vary. That's normal. But the Tigers cannot afford to have lapses where they don't block out or allow easy looks for UAB. Again, this is a team UAB that comes in struggling in the rebounding category. They are unaccustomed to dominating the backboards. They rely on turnovers and steals and hitting boards and punches and transitions. And Burks for the big basket. Burks now an A. Well, you mentioned rebounding, John. It's 13-5 UAB. Memphis with five rebounds. That's Massey picks one against the glass. And then Collins travels. He got the offensive rebound, but he traveled. It'll be Tiger basketball with 7.43 to go in the first half. Things certainly picking up on this, what should be an electric night. We got a great halftime coming up for you as the 73 NCAA Final Four team will be honored this evening. Anthony Rice kicking it to Antonio Burks who kicks it in the bucket. We're tied at 23. 1932, the world ate its first crystal. Chicken bite, chicken bite, pop it, chicken bite. Open wide. <laughs> you hit me in the head. Delicious chicken bites. Crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Awesome. Crispy. Juicy and tender. Enjoy yourself. Lightly battered white meat chicken. Chicken bites. Say like what? Heaven. Starting at 99 cents. Are you kidding me? That's a deal. It's a drink. That's the place to have chicken bites. Little food, big taste. You can always trust your car to our family's years of experience. Our family tradition of quality products with superior service, that's what keeps our customers coming back. We haven't changed our commitment to quality and service here at Don's Auto Postery. And to keep pace with our industry, the range of services we provide today has grown. Feel young with a new convertible top or custom auto upholstery for your vehicle. We can help you go high tech with a DVD or video entertainment system. We try twice as hard to please our customers at Don's Auto Upholstery. Start every day off right in a truck that works as hard as you do. The built Ford Tough F-150. Get 0% or $2,500 cash back on F-150. Returning Ford lessees get an additional $1,500. With more torque and higher payload than Silverado, Ram, and Tundra. Start your year off with 0% or up to $4,000 cash back on F-150. See your local Ford dealer today. Since 1970, Champion has provided trophies, plaques, and recognition products to the Mid-South. Champion can provide over 50,000 promotional products for businesses, schools, or churches. Call our customer service department at 365-4830 today. Tiger fans, visit our University of Memphis merchandise booth located at the Pyramid between gates 3 and 4. Welcome back, everybody. Again, at halftime, they honor the 73 NCAA Final Four team here at the Pyramid. You can't buy them because it's sold out, so we're going to give you a chance to win them. Watch UPN 30 beginning Monday from 5 to 7. We're the only place that can give you Jay-Z tickets. Watch and win. That's UPN 30 WLMT beginning Monday. Tigers have hit their last five field goal attempts, six of their last seven overall. And Blake, how about Antonio Burks? 
Antonio Brooks has, he is four for four in field goals, has eight points and two assists. Very good. And there's a look at Antonio Burks, that personal on Richard Jones of UAB, his first. 16 fouls now against the Blazers, four against the Tigers. And again, Burks at 100%. What a difference he makes for the U of M. Well, we got some problems with a clock. There you see it. Great job by our crew. Yeah, try to guess how much yeah. time's left in the shot clock or the game clock. Your guess is as good as anybody, so we'll have a little adjustment. Mr. Ogle, who has been a fixture here for many, many years, he sure will get has. it. Hopefully. He'll get it adjusted and working for too much longer. Tigers shooting 56% from the field there, 9 of 16. They are 4 of 6 from beyond the arc. Meanwhile, UAB is now up to 43.5%. They're 10 of 23. Now the one end is perfect as far as the clock is concerned. No problema. But the other side, as you can see, that is the not UAB end. Not it up at 23 with 7.33 to go. Oh, I think we got it readjusted. There we go. Looks like it's perfect. Don't forget you can travel with the Tigers by calling Travel Linium Charters at 678-3321. That's 678-3321. You travel with the Tigers the day before the game. You stay at the same hotel, get tickets to the game, and you fly right back after the game on the charter flights provided by Travel Linium. Can you maybe stick into that zone? Mixed it up, zone man. Here's Rice for three, and the Tigers are now sizzling five of seven from three-point land. Anthony Rice with his second triple, he has six. Wow, that's a tough shot because Billy Richmond was right in Richard Jones' face, and Jones with a three. Richard Jones has 12 points off the bench for UAB. 12 of their 26, and again we are tied. Massey to Richmond. Richmond bobbled it, but out of bounds off UAB. Good to see Rice find the range. And at the UAB end, again Jones with a tough shot. That's pretty good defense. Look at Richmond right in his face, and do rain, but got it to go. Pretty massive. <laughs> Pretty Lob massive. Here's Carney. The push all over him. That time, no good. Here comes UAB looking to take the lead. Good job by Burks. Good hustle. Someone will come in and knock that out of Finley's hand. And again, the clock is messed up here at the pyramid. A little frustration on the face of Mr. Ogle. <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. Mentioned Richard Jones, John, one of five freshmen for Mike Anderson, and all the freshmen get significant PT. Jones is five of seven for 12 points in seven minutes of play. Then we'll do like we used to with pinball machines, just kind of bump it, nudge it a little bit. Don't tilt it, but just a little good pop to the side. It's Louisville and Marquette with a big game today, and Louisville able to pull it out. Reese Gaines the hero, and they're now 9-1 with a half-game lead on Marquette. Uh, Blake Cincinnati sitting in third. What is their record? 6-3. Six, six and three. DePaul 5-5, five and five, and then, of course, the bottom three teams right now in the American Division are? Charlotte, St. Louis, and East Carolina. Exactly right. Any team in that group you'd like to see the Tigers play and beat more so than any of the others? That's exactly right. You got the number one choice from Tiger fans. That's exactly right. Wednesday night, the Tigers travel to Freedom Hall to take on Louisville at 6 o'clock, and then Saturday on the road at South Florida. So a very big week next week, John, for the Tigers. Yeah, the Tigers, Greg, uh, got uh, at Louisville, at South Florida. They home games, TCU, Cincinnati, and they close out the regular season at Houston and UAB. There you are, Blake. There he is, right here. Stand up. Sit up. Stand up right there. There he is. Wave to everybody. There you go. That's right. Blake doing a great job. We're having a lot of fun with it. That's right. <laughs> this way. There you go. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Blake, it's been a lot of fun. We sure have enjoyed having you down here. 
And uh, one day we hope to see you playing out here. Will that be all right with you? Mm -hmm. There you go. Good stuff. Mom and Dad did a great uh, great thing for you. Make sure you say thank you. All right. They outbid about 15, 16 other people for the right to get you out here. Pretty nice uh, of your Mom and Dad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You bet. That was the live television auction on UPN 30. Blake's bid and a bid from Doug Collins. And there we go. The parents. You know those folks right there? You know those two people? Who are those two people? My mom and dad. That's exactly right. There we go. That pouncer got in the way. Your parents were getting some airtime there. There they are. Yep. <laughs> Blake's getting, getting everybody on the TV tonight. And that's Blake's little sister. And what's her name? Lauren. Lauren, okay, get everybody. And that's John Calipari, the Tigers head coach. That's right. Looks like they got everything squared. I'll tell you what's difficult. It's difficult to stay in rhythm from a player's perspective if you're constantly stopping and starting like that. So they've had a mini little break and got to get back in rhythm. I like to see breaks like that in the game. Good job on the board by John Grice. There's Burks. Kelly dominant from behind, and Burks has been on fire tonight. Antonio Burks is a perfect 5 for 5. He has 10, and the Tigers reclaim the lead by a deuce at 28 26. Yeah, Greg Burks is creating some problems off the dribble for UAB. He's quick enough to go around, and his shot is falling. Burks almost gets the steal. Twice, coming and going. Great defense by Rice and Finley up and down. Finley did not want to take the shot, but he committed. Good defense by Anthony Rice. John Calipari really trying to get his team to make a solid run. The last 5.58, yes again, clock problems. It's frustrating, I understand. From both coaches and players, you just don't like to see interruptions, Greg, in the game flow like this. Very, very difficult to get it going. Yeah, I think I know that guy on the headset right behind Sonny Smith right there on the headphones. Had a chance to visit with him before the game. Auburn, VCU, and was an assistant coach on Virginia Tech's NIT championship in the early 70s. One of the funniest coaches, one of the greatest one-liners, and still has a great, great demeanor. Longtime friend, and uh, good to see him continuing to stay involved with the game. Of course, doing some broadcasting work. True gentleman. If you're just tuning in, folks, we will be joined in the second half by Gene Barto, Larry Keenan, and we might have Ronnie Robinson. Ronnie Robinson may right. possibly join us. Expecting a couple of uh, Coach Barto's players what a great to evening. join us during the second half. A couple of the key components of that 73 and nice pass and finish by Chris Matthews. All set up by Antonio Burks as he drove the lane. A couple of guys converged on it and found the open Chris Massey. And then Massey with the rebound. Tigers again, Greg, really want to make a strong finish the last five minutes and change of the first half. Tigers lead is four, 30 to 26, Massey is five. Clock again on the UABN is now functioning, so don't be surprised if they have to stop it. Burks again. Getting over and knocking it away. He'd be a great defensive back, John. He's, just, he's got that good makeup time when the ball's in the air. Nice job right now. Contributing. The defense has got to respect him. And Massey right on cue. Catch and finish. Tigers backcourt outscoring UAB's backcourt 16-3. to They've done a great job on Bush and Finley. And here's Burks again. Throws the jumper. What's happening is Burks is hurting UAB offensively, so they're now having to react to him, and that's going to leave Massey and company open when the defense has got to go around on Burks, and all those comes up with a steal. Edens, dangerous cross-court pass. There's Bush, who's been taken out of the rhythm of his game by the Tigers' defense, and there is a push against the Tigers, and that'll go against John Grice. Yeah, the shot clock and the game clock not operating. Larry Ware was right in front of John Calipari as he made that call. Let's see. At the jam. I guess the official felt he was slowing his progress down, but they certainly have seen the 
More aggressive fouls not called. Absolutely. Jeremy Hunt back in the game for the Tigers. Here's Edens over Grice, back iron. And here comes Hunt with the ball. And that'll go against Bush. And it'll be a one-on-one -on -one for Jeremy Hunt. Bush just got in front of uh, Jeremy Hunt without position, impeded his progress, and committed his first foul. The Tigers go up and get it. And Hunt trying to get it down court. And you're absolutely right. Bush not set. Hunt will have a one-on-one. -on -one. And here comes Richard Jones back in the game. 12 points for Mike Anderson's team. Jeremy Hunt at the free throw line is a 63% free throw shooter. And Masson gets the rebound. Another opportunity. Carney from downtown short. And Finley climbs up and gets the rebound at 5'11". Good defense by Rice. Never left his feet. And there's Finley for three. You don't want to get him hot because he can catch fire and turn a game around. Six now from Finley on a couple of three balls. UAB is four of ten from beyond the arc. The Tigers are five of ten. And the lead is down to three for Memphis, 32-29. Massey spinning in the lane. One hand and doesn't go. Good job by Gabe Kennedy clearing the lane for the rebound. Here comes Jones. Jones pump fake on Carney. Grice with the hands knocked it away, and Carney runs down the loose ball. Knocked away by Ends out of bounds. It'll be Tigers basketball. Blake, thanks for being with us. We had a lot of fun. Thanks. Time out on the floor. The Tigers trail, or maybe the Tigers leading by three. Hi. I got you something special. Does it come in a box? Uh-huh. Is it round? Yeah. Is it gold? Uh-huh. Is it a gold ring? Close your eyes. <laughs> New stuffed crust gold pizza from Pizza Hut. We married a ring of cheese baked inside the crust with golden cheddar on top for a toasted crunch. Stuffed crust pizza for $9.99 or go for the gold for $1 more. New at Pizza Hut. Can I open my eyes yet? No, not yet. <laughs> On its own, money is not smart. It needs instruction, guidance. Like the kind offered at First Tennessee. Our financial professionals help you straighten out retirement plans, get a loan, plan for college, and get your financial goals in order. So your money has what it takes to wise up and work harder. And that's smart. First Tennessee, all things financial. Like to play games with your phone? Now do it in style with the brand new full color LG VX4400 exclusively from Verizon Wireless. Whether it's soccer, golf, bowling, or puzzle games, this sleek compact phone lets you enjoy them all in vibrant color. And for a limited time, it's only $99.99 with trade-in rebate. Just what you'd expect from the nation's largest and most reliable wireless network provider. Good. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Welcome back, everybody. The great Larry Finch and his wife at the game tonight, of course, as the 73 team will be saluted the Missouri Valley Conference player of the year one of the purest shooters ever Larry Finch here tonight and John um, certainly going to be an emotional time for everybody with Larry yes uh, certainly is uh, coach starting uh, a little bit better good reports uh, for those that are with him on a regular basis starting to respond a little bit it's gonna be a long road back but uh, they expect uh, noticeable improvement good to see him here Tigers still well over 50 percent UAB at 43 percent from the field Burke's nice kick to the from the corner and the rainbow three finds the bottom of the net Tigers now six of 11 and they lead it by six John Grice, Rodney Carney, and Anthony Rice all have two threes apiece. All have six points. Massey, that'll be goaltending. Count the bucket. On its way down. Ball movement the key. Tigers break the pressure quickly with the ball pass. Defense not a chance to react. And John Grice continues his forward shooting from the perimeter. Nice little segment there for the Tigers. That looked good. Eric Bush credited with his first bucket of the game for UAB. 35-31, under three minutes to go from the pyramid. There's Bryce, another three. Not that time. Massey nice job by Massey. Great, Great job. control, but he kicked it out. 
That time Grice was trying to do something with it before he got in control of the ball. Got to catch it first before you do anything with it. And that was a heck of a pass from Burks, but the Tigers unable to convert. Tigers have committed seven turnovers and UAB eight. Johnson inside for Kennedy, lays it up and it rolls around and out and Grice gets the rebound. Tigers still trailing the rebounding battle, 18 to 11. But they're leading the war, 35-31. Looking for their fifth straight win. Blazers are two and four away from Birmingham. Meanwhile, the Tigers 11 and two at home this year. Massive double team, good kick. Here's Grice, the one-hander in the lane. And John Grice now has eight. Price to what uh, John Calipari wants you to do. He wants him to finish. Just be a finisher. Morris Finley, no. Kept alive by Kennedy. And he pushed Grice, but no call. <laughs> Out of bounds off Kennedy. It'll be Tiger basketball. As Cedric Davis checks back in for UAB, replacing Kennedy. Also, Jeffrey Collins back in the game, the 6'4 sophomore out of Birmingham, giving Morris Finley a breather. And here comes Dewan Irwin. Irwin replacing Grice. By the way, Earl Barron is getting better, the ankle. He is in uniform. In an emergency situation, John, they could possibly use him, but I think they're keeping him out, resting him for Wednesday, and the visit to Louisville. Good to see the big guy back at least in uniform. He's got a very, very severe sprain that uh, he's had the last couple of weeks. Tigers going to need everybody ready to go to Freedom Hall. It will be a battle. Burks inside the yard. That's his first oh, miss after fancy. six straight buckets. Just in traffic, corral that board. As we mentioned, the Tigers with a decisive height advantage in this game. The tallest UAB player at six foot nine. Yeah, and Irwin's got a five-inch advantage down low on his guy, Richard Jones, who's playing behind him. He's got a mismatch if they want to use it the other side. Hunt drive to the lane, throws it up and in. That's the first bucket for Jeremy Hunter after he's just under 10. Tigers' largest lead, 39-31. Tigers should get it back one more time before the end of the half. Good defensive stop here, and the Tigers could possibly go to locker room with a double-digit lead. 20 seconds. Crowd on their feet, certainly into it. Bush partially blocked, I believe, by Irwin, but then Bush gets the steal from behind. As he was unaware that Bush was right behind him, so now UAB can work for the final shot of the half. And Bush is holding his shoulder. He hurt his shoulder. Well, you remember who he ran into. <laughs> that mountain, Mr. Massey. That mountain named Massey. Ten seconds now. Jones this is where, this is where UAB's at a real disadvantage. Their clock has not been operational the whole time. Jones launches the three, and wow, Collins trying to slam home the rebound, but it was after the buzzer. And we go to halftime at the pyramid with John Calipari's Tigers leading 39-31. Good finish for the Tigers. Tigers go to the break with an eight-point lead. Jeremy Hunt getting into the act with that lay-in. We'll be back with our halftime festivities right after this. Hey, folks. Mike Bowen for Champion Awards. Since 1970, Champion has provided trophies, plaques, and recognition products to the Mid-South. Champion is also the largest t-shirt printer in Memphis, but no order is ever too small. Also, our embroidery department can supply all of your corporate apparel. Champion can provide over 50,000 promotional products for businesses, schools, or churches. Please call our customer service department at 365-4830 today. As always, I thank you for your business. Something remarkable is happening. People are realizing that Cricket service works just like their home phone, with all the local calls they want for one low predictable price, plus plenty of free long distance. So Cricket does more and costs less. And for home phones, it's the end of the line. Cricket. It could be your only phone. Visit our brand new store, now open in Eastgate Shopping Center.
Interiors, Memphis's most unique furniture store, located on the corner of Summer Avenue and Sycamore View. University of Memphis basketball on UPN 30 WLMT is brought to you by First Tennessee Bank, all things financial. By Kroger, let's go Krogering. And by Ford, your local Ford dealers are proud sponsors of the Memphis Tigers. Welcome back to the Pyramid. We're at halftime. The Tigers lead UAB by the score of 39-31. In a few moments, the NCAA Final Four team from 73 will be honored. But right now, we want to talk with another gentleman who will be involved in our broadcast tonight. It's Doug Collins, and he's standing by with John Albright. John? Great, thanks. And yes, Doug Collins does join me. And most Memphians know Doug by what he does during his day job. And that's a, he's an owner of Prudential Residential Real Estate. But also, we're very uh, pleased to have the president president of the Tennessee Association of Realtors with us. Doug, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much. I'm proud to be here and proud to be a sponsor of the University of Memphis. Yeah, that's the most important thing, of course, Doug, your sponsorship, outbidding uh, others' uh, uh, key contribution to the university, and you've been a longtime supporter of the university. I have been. I uh, was past president of the Highland 100. Don't remember when, somewhere back in the early 90s, and uh, actually been on the trip to go with the team to Louisville and won that, so I'm looking forward to that trip. Well, if you're one of the Tiger fans, that have been to Louisville and seen a win, they're going to want you to go this week as well. Yeah, that, I would like to be there this week, but I can't make that one. Doug, I know where you sit across from us. You're always there uh, at every game. Jules Wade from the association also sits there with you. And you're one of such a core group of Tiger fans that have supported them so wonderfully through the years. It's great to see all familiar faces here tonight on this special occasion. Yeah, and you know, it's uh, I came to school here in 73, so this is a real special night for me to, to what we're going to enjoy at halftime. Doug, thanks again. You're going to join us during the second half. Again, thanks so much for your participation. All right, Greg, let's send it back to you. Thank you, John. Thanks to Doug Collins. And again, as you mentioned, he'll be joining us. Also, thanks to Blake Morgan. We're back with our halftime festivities right after this. Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston star in The Bodyguard. Sunday at 7 on Euclid 30's Sunday Night Cinema. They may be living the American dream. What the hell is this new game called? Golf. What, you trying to get your ghetto pants revoked? <laughs> but they haven't forgotten their roots. Tiger Woods won the Masters. Yeah, but Tiger's only part black. And you know that ain't the part that won the Masters. The Hughley's Weekdays on UPN 30. Basically, I just tell them that the biggest thing about education and being an educated person is it's harder to be fooled if you're educated. The person you want to rely on most in your life that's on this earth is yourself. And the only way you can rely on that person is if you're an educated person. That's what makes winners. And it's true whether you're running a basketball program or a Kroger store. We knew we had to make the new Accord more comfortable and more stylish. Why else would you part with your old one? The all-new 2003 Accord from Honda. Now you can lease a 2003 Accord LX sedan for $239 a month for 36 months. Peter's life was all business until his blind internet date I hope you like Sham. Was it what he pictured? Poop. On March 7th, she's not what he expected. Wake up, Charlene. But she's going to put his house... He's having trouble reading. ...back in order. Double D. You read. Dad, what's a rack? It's a country. Bringing down the house. You look stupid. Really? Because I got this outfit from your mom. Rated PG-13. This is Jesse. Jesse's a kid. He downloads music online just like that. His family switched to the speed of Bell South Fast Access DSL. Jesse's mom just made dinner reservations in an instant. Compared to dial-up, it's an internet experience that's up to 50 times faster and always ready to go whenever you are. It includes Bell South internet service and frees up your phone line so you can talk while using the internet. Want a better internet experience? Get Fast Access DSL today. Bell South. Listening. Answering. Listen up, Memphis. It's Truck Month at your number one Dodge dealer. Covington by Dodge. And with Truck Month comes some incredible Dodge discounts on some incredible Dodge trucks. Like $7,000 off the big and bold Ram 1500 quad cab. And tackle the road in the Dodge Durango. Again, $7,000 off. And don't forget one of the best vehicles on the road. The Grand Caravan. Now $7,000 off. Want to grab life by the horns? Do it during Truck Month at Covington by Dodge. It's easy to do business here. First, Larry Keenan. 
Welcome back to the pyramid, everybody. The Tigers lead the UAB Blazers at the half, 39 to 31. Greg Gaston, John Albright, and a man synonymous with sports in the Memphis area and at the University of Memphis, Tim Doolin's joining us as well. And while this is going on, the 73 NCAA Final Four team is being introduced to the fans here at the pyramid. It is certainly an electric night, Tim. It really is, and I remember as a kid, at being 12 or 13 years old and watching this team and, uh, and, and being able to identify with the Larry Finches and the Ronnie Robinson and Larry Keenan and those guys and being able to see those guys come back is really exciting tonight. Of course, Tim, you were a baseball player here in the early 80s. So spent a little time in the Baltimore Orioles organization. I think there was a guy, um, somebody did fairly well that stopped you maybe from going to the top. But if you are a parent, you know that you spent some money with this guy at some point in time, either soccer, cheerleading, gymnastics, uh, or, or baseball. Uh, you've done an outstanding job with uh, Doolin Sports Academies. Well, I appreciate it, John. It's been fun. It's, it's been fun for, for me to be able to come back to Memphis and do something I enjoy doing and, and teaching baseball and, and being able to broaden, broaden our scale of instruction in all sports. And uh, it's been exciting and we're, and we're growing. And you've got some excitement uh, coming on South Bay. We'll talk about it in just a minute. The Tigers are certainly in that 73 seed, the Missouri Valley champions. Back then, uh, you just had to win four games to get to the championship. The Tigers uh, dispatched uh, Kansas State, Lon Kruger on that team. They also beat South Carolina with Mike Dunleavy Sr., who was on that team. Then and Marvin Barnes and Kevin Stakem and a guy by the name of Ernie D. Gregorio in Providence. And, of course, the Tigers ran into Bill Walton and company, unfortunately, in the finals. Most people forget 39 all at the half of that game. Of course, UCLA went on to, to win it solidly. But, uh, Tim, you've got uh, an exciting announcement uh, about uh, an addition, as you mentioned, to your business down in South Haven. Well, we are, John, and we're really excited about it. We're about 30 days out, and we're going to be expanding. We'll have about 49,000 square feet at the, at the beautiful Snowden Grove Park, which is the largest baseball complex in the country, and we'll have a little bit more than what we've got in Cordova with the addition of uh, a 45-foot rock climbing wall that I'll have to get you and Greg to come out there and challenge that. Uh, we'll have 36 holes in miniature golf and a large video game room and uh, all the other things that we do as well. And we've got some things that we're getting ready to announce within about a week to expand on a 20-acre tract of land that we're uh, that we're developing this project on. I've also visited uh, property down in uh, Gulfport that uh, your firm manages, so you're entrenched. And it's very interesting, as your motto says, learn what the pros uh, are, are doing, uh, the kids and the specialized training that's uh, it's available at any of your locations. Well, you know, it's, it's good. That you, in anything you do to be successful, you got to surround yourself with good people. And we've been able to hire some of the best instructors around in, in each sport that we, that we do teach. And uh, it's a lot of fun because you're able to, to touch kids' lives and be able to get them better not necessarily to get them to this level or to the pro level, but if you can teach them some of the things that are valuable uh, in life skills, it'll help them get to the next level in business. Speaking of good people, you also stayed involved with the university president of the M Club, which is the former uh, athletes, uh, and it's good to see so many guys continue to stay involved with the university. It really is, and if, if anybody's interested, you know, that it's former athlete, it's, I think it's vitally important, we talked about it at our meeting the other night, is, it's, you know, guys that played sports here and girls that played sports here have the ability to meet and network with other people, boosters, whether it be uh, in this area or whether it be somewhere across the country to help them further their careers and, and whatever business they, they choose to, to uh, proceed. Well, outstanding. Tim, as always, uh, thank you for your time and continue to do such a great job with uh, the young athletes out there. I appreciate you guys having me on. It's good to see you guys. Thank you, Tim. Continued success. The Tigers lead at the half 39-31 as the 73 team continues to be introduced to the fans here at the Pyramid. We're coming right back. Stay with us. 25 games during show sold out. <laughs> UPN 30 can take you to see Jay Z. Watch us Monday from 5 to 7 to call in and win. Start every day off right in a truck that works as hard as you do. The built Ford Tough F-150. Get 0% or $2,500 cash back on F-150. Returning Ford lessees get an additional $1,500. With more torque and higher payload than Silverado, Ram, and Tundra. Start your year off with 0% or up to 4000 cash back on F-150. See your local Ford dealer today. The biggest thing is together we can all be special. Together working hand in hand, looking out for each other. Our jobs become easier when we know we're looking after each other. Uh, the biggest thing about teamwork for us is absolutely trusting each other and looking after each other. And it's true whether you're running a basketball program or a Kroger store. 
basically I just tell them that the biggest thing about education and being an educated person is it's harder to be fooled if you're educated. The person you want to rely on most in your life that's on this earth is yourself. And the only way you can rely on that person is if you're an educated person. That's what makes winners. And it's true whether you're running a basketball program or a Kroger store. Clint Eastwood and Gene Hackman star in Unforgiven. Sunday at 4 on UPN. Get to know Daryl Hughley. Go to your room. I'm in my room. I was talking to your mama. Watch the Hughleys. Weekdays on UPN 30. Welcome back, everybody. The lights are back up at the Pyramid. The Tigers lead 39 to 31. And look at that team, John. Some of these guys, I think, can still hoop it up today. I'll tell you, Clarence Jones has not gained a pound. Uh, every time I see CJ, uh, I kid him about that. He said he's still got jumper courts here. Larry Fitch, much has been discussed. Again, uh, improving. Coach Bartow, that's uh, Larry Keenan. There's CJ in the back. Honey Robinson, Bill Cook down with the with the beard. Bill Laurie with the blue mock turtleneck on. That was quite a collection of talent and certainly, again, a very, very important part of Tiger tradition. There's Coach Bartow, of course, actively here with the Grizzlies and longtime coach at UAB and athletic director. Great bunch, again, going to the championship game of 73. They fell to UCLA, but what a team and what memories for everybody. We're back with highlights and statistics from the first half right after this. Good evening, I'm Tom Butler. Coming up tonight, students of this city school are actually tested for lead poisoning today. What were the results and is this school safe? We'll take a look. They were banging the anti-war drums today, nationally and right here in the Mid-South, and they think their effort is growing. And what are the odds of a set of twins having their children on the same day? And both babies are boys. Plus, Mark Walden has your first alert forecast. We'll see you right here at 9 o'clock. times in your life when you wished you could just get minimum coverage? Well, now you can. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. Minimum coverage for minimum budgets. It starts with the best-selling car in America. Then you add in a very low interest rate and the best selection in the Mid-South. And you get the best deal in Memphis. Now get 1.9 financing on any new Toyota Camry in stock. That's 1.9. That could save you over $1,600. The best cars, the best deals can only be found at Covington Pike, Chuck Hutton, or Performance Toyota. Hurry before it all ends February 28th. A lot more of us are driving to where we want to go these days. We're hitting the road in unprecedented numbers. Gateway Tire knows you need good tires and brakes and lots of other services for your car. So we're ready to help. Our Gateway Checklist Special this week is tires. $50 off on the purchase of four tires. Good through Saturday. And don't forget our 30-day tire guarantee. You drive on them, you don't like them, we take them back. No questions asked. Gateway Tires. The only thing that should be between you and the open road. Gateway. Our business is earning your trust. University of Memphis Basketball on UPN 30 WLMT is brought to you by First Tennessee Bank, all things financial. By Kroger, let's go Krogering. And by Ford, your local Ford dealers are proud sponsors of the Memphis Tigers. Welcome back, everybody. Both teams back on the floor, just about ready to start the second half. The Tigers leading UAB by eight points at 39 to 31. Tigers trying to win for the fifth consecutive time as they get set for a trip to Louisville on Wednesday and then South Florida next Saturday. What a big week that'll be. Tigers playing very well in the first half, but UAB did a great job, John, on the boards for a small team. Well, again, early they had some confidence. Tigers did not block off Davis with a nice follow-up. 
They had some moments. Tony Johnson, tough three. Defense in his face, found the range. And a guy who has given the Tigers difficulty in the past, Morris Finley, again finding the range. But obviously the story offensively in the first half for the Tigers, Antonio Burks. 12 first half points to lead all scores. Outstanding first half for Burks. Really created a lot of matchup problems for UAB. Jeremy Hunt, nice move in traffic. Up strong on the inside. John Grice continued his solid shooting. Two of four from three-point range. Solid first half for Grice. And we are underway in the second half. Tigers trying to pad on to that eight-point lead. Here's Rice for three. Buries it. That's the way you want to start out the second 20. And the Tigers' lead is their largest at 11. First five minutes so important of both halves. And the Tigers really want to reestablish the momentum, Greg, that they clearly got going into the half. Tigers with their first double-digit lead. Do not want to allow UAB any glimpse of hope that they can come in here and get away with a win. Tigers now 7 of 13 from beyond the arc. As you look at the first half statistics, again, the Tigers shot 55%, held UAB to 38. Well, the only thing that concerns you a little bit is the rebounding and turnover categories. Tigers would like to see the rebounding a little more positive in their direction. Morris Finley has the answer for Anthony Rice's three with a three of his own. He now has nine, and again, you don't want to unleash Finley. He could change a game in a hurry, the whole tone of the game. Well, Burke's solid first half creates UAB some problems because they've got to go out and guard him, and that's going to leave Massey and company open for some entry passes. That time, nice strip by Sidney Ball. Finley working on Rice, and Rice got him. Finley will go to the line to shoot two. The Tigers at one point in the first half, John, were trailing in the rebounding battle 14-3, but it ended up 19-14 in UAB's favor after the first 20. Well, again, the biggest thing that concerns you was so many offensive boards, particularly in the first 10 minutes, and you just got to do a better job defensively, making sure that everybody blocks a man off. You don't let down anywhere. Finley 81% from the stripe, and he drops the first one. He now has 10. Second UAB Blazer to hit double figures in scoring. Richard Jones has 12. And as you mentioned, John, leading the way for the Tigers, Antonio Burst with 12. So Finley quickly five points in a row, and now it's a six-point game. And here's that patented full-court pressure by Mike Anderson. It's got to be very decisive against The Tigers have not seen a lot of full-court pressure this year, Greg, because Burks is so adept at creating uh, mismatches off the speed dribble. And I think it surprised him a little in the first half and just a little uncomfortable operating against it. The key thing is where you get the inbounds pass. If you can get it to the middle, you have all options. If you go in the corner, that's where the traps occur. And then once you get it, beat it off the dribble or put the pass quickly before a double team can get to you. Massey double team trying to get it inside to Irwin. And the officials say it went out of bounds. Off Memphis, UAB basketball, another Tiger turnover. They've now committed 10 to the Blazers' 8. John Bryce quickly checks in for John Calipari's team, replacing Dewan Irwin. Want to welcome again Doug Collins, who will be joining us here in the second half. We had Blake Morgan in the first half, a 9-year-old. Both uh, won the auction, the chance to come on and be a part of the broadcast team. And it's great to have Doug. And I see Gene Bartow making his way to the... Uh, Announcer's table too, broadcast table. There's Coach. We'll bring on Gene in a second. It's going to be fun. We're going to be visited by a few members of that 73 NCAA Final Four team during the second stanza. Here's Gabe Kennedy. Double team kicks it out the ball. Back to Kennedy and Massey got him on the arm. Kennedy showing some speed there. Beat Massey. And Gabe Kennedy at 64% on the free throw line will shoot two. Down low and Massey bumping with the chest, picks up the foul inside. We have a special guest uh, that has joined us. We got to see a little of Coach Barto and uh, his celebrated 73 team. Coach, uh, it's great to have you here and uh, that team's so important uh, to the basketball tradition here at the university. Well, thank you, John. Uh, the players have all really appreciated and enjoyed being uh, brought back into the city and honored and uh, Dr. Raines and R.C. Johnson and 
course, uh, Melissa and Kevin and the people that made all this happen. We're all very, very appreciative. That was such a magical run, and a lot of people don't remember quite uh, how you went about going. And of course, you dismantled Lon Kruger and uh, K State, and uh, I think a, a Dunleavy senior. You got South Carolina, and then uh, you were down by nine to Providence in the first half, and really turned the tables uh, on the Friars in the second half of the semifinal game. Well, those were great wins, and uh, you've got a good memory. You were too young to remember that. <laughs> Coach, it's amazing what the press guide could okay. give you before the game. <laughs> but it, but uh, anyway, we. Uh, we really uh, did have a wonderful team and very unselfish, dedicated players, and so we were very fortunate. Well, Coach, I, I've talked to a lot of those players, and they all give you a tremendous amount of credit. You wouldn't say anything about it, but they give you a lot of credit. Halftime 39 uh, apiece, and uh, somebody by the name of Walton, uh, I think, uh, got on a tear in that one. Uh, but uh, also want to congratulate you on uh, last night, uh, color commentary. Of course, you're with the Grizzlies and uh, did an outstanding job last on the broadcast. John, you need to watch out now. <laughs> I've been told that. Yeah. I know that. For you, John. There you go. <laughs> I said it back a hundred years last night, but I, I mean, they're nice people and Matt watched out for me. Coach, you did a great job. Also, we'll talk a little bit. You're getting an opportunity to watch UAB. Certainly, the university, we're honoring uh, your 73 team, but uh, UAB also near and dear to your heart. Well, of course, I started the program 25 years ago, and uh, a lot of wonderful people around the university, and I follow them, and I like Mike. He's uh, he's doing a nice job. I thought Murray did a good job, but we had some good teams while I was there. So UAB is a fine basketball university, and uh, this has been a been a good game so far. And I think it'll stay pretty close. They're 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 playing well. Both teams are playing well. John John's got the Tigers, I think, playing well right now. It's got their attention. You had some significant NCAA tournament wins early in your tenure at UAB that really caught the basketball world's attention. Well, Oliver Robinson was a great All-American. He's here tonight, incidentally. Well, I saw and, Coach Giles over there too. Yeah, so uh, Chris was on those great teams, and uh, and so they uh, we got to the final eight one year, final sixteen a couple years. We we had a good run, and uh, with Steve Mitchell, of course, when he played for us, and Jerome Mincy, they were great players. Memphians, and we had a lot of great Memphis players. I can't. I don't have time to mention them all. You take me off the air. Right? <laughs> but we have Memphis has been very good to Gene Barto. Tigers have up that lead to 47-38 on a great slashing move by Antonio Burks, who took it to the hole. And Mike Anderson is calling a timeout. So a great start here for the Tigers in the second half. We're talking with Gene Barto, the coach of that 73 Tigers team. We'll continue that conversation in a moment. But look at Burks with the dipsy do. It's the Tigers by now. Did you get that Civic for 1.9% APR financing? Yes. Thank you. Get special APR financing as low as 1.9% for up to 60 months on 2003 Civics. This is Willie. Willie's a dog. Willie used to be the center of attention. That is, until the family switched to Bell South Fast Access DSL. Now it's the internet. Everyone's always connected to it, all the time. Compared to dial-up, it's up to 50 times faster and frees up their phone line so they can talk while using the internet. And it includes Bell South Internet Service. But hey, things are looking up for Willie. See, boy, you're still their best friend. Want a better internet experience? Get Fast Access DSL today. Bell South. Listening. Answering. 1932. The world ate its first crystal. Chicken bite, chicken bite, pop it. Chicken bite. Open wide. <laughs> you hit me in the head. Delicious chicken bite. Crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Awesome. Crispy. Juicy and tender. Enjoy yourself. Lightly battered white meat chicken. Chicken bite. Say like what? Heaven. Starting at 99 cents. Are you kidding me? That's a deal. It's a drink. That's the place to have chicken bites. Little food, big taste. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. 17.01 remaining in the second half, and the Tigers lead by nine. Don't forget, you can travel with the Tigers by calling Travel Linium Charters in 678-3321. You travel the day before the game with the team. You stay at the same hotel, watch the game, and then travel right back with the Tigers the night or the day after the game. That's Travel Linium Charters, 678-2331. 
Second half field goal attempts. The Tigers are a perfect three for three. Meanwhile, UAB one of four. The coach of the year in college basketball, 1973 coach of the Tigers, Gene Bartow, joining us here. And there's a foul against Chris Massey, and that'll be number two against the big fella. Coach, let me ask you about that magical year. Can you pinpoint the, what the greatest moment would be from that year for you? Well, there were a lot of wonderful moments. Uh, when we won the conference championship down at New Mexico State was a wonderful moment. But I think when we walked off the floor after beating Providence in the semifinals, uh, that was certainly the biggest moment of my life then and now, probably. I knew we were going to play for the national championship. Massey on the board, the put back, and there he goes. Massey now with seven. He's a load, isn't he? He's a fine player. I, I liked him last year, and I like him better this year. I, uh, I, I enjoy watching him play. He plays so hard. Everyone, so does Burks. I tell you, Burks is getting better and better, I think, too. He's getting healthier and healthier, yeah, too. Yeah, I, I, John's doing a marvelous job with this team, and, uh, I think they're going to peak at the right time. They got a hard, hard game for us. They got another 1,500 minutes tonight in Louisville. 16 points and seven assists now for Antonio Burks as the Tigers have increased their lead to 13. Well, coach, as you mentioned, Burks playing so well. He's so quick off the dribble. Creates a lot of defensive problems for you, particularly in the open court. Well, he, he, he has great quickness, and he plays so hard. You gotta love him. Look at him go, and he can float, and he has a, just a beautiful move there to get that basket down. So uh, I think I think the game Wednesday, Wednesday night is going to be uh, a real spe what I call a special sports spectacular. Well, you know a little bit about that rivalry first, oh. and I remember a game in Nashville. I heard a little bit about the year before. Oh, I don't and, uh, like that one, but uh, <laughs> but we uh, we had some wonderful games against Louisville. Jim Price and a couple yeah. of those others. That was, I uh, still kid Larry Finch about Jim Price <laughs> and him. Did they go at one another? You better believe it. And Larry Finch won every battle, I thought. Most everybody. I, I absolutely understand that. And Larry, had, when he was coaching, he had to, he had their... He, he had their, their number up there. Exactly right. There. And while I was here, we beat them more and they beat us. And then I got him once while I was at UCLA. So I like to beat Louisville. No, I kid you about that because the 72, the, the, the tie-breaking formula was not normal. I think y'all had won both the regular uh, season matchups. And today, of course, you go head-to-head. -head. It didn't work that way. Well, it was a tough uh, meeting yeah, we up there. Should, and we would have gotten to the Final Four that year, I believe. We had a great team. We shouldn't have ever had to play them. I believe Florida because State played UCLA in the Final Four in 72. Right. And uh, we, uh, we really had a very good team, Fred Horton. Don Holcomb and the Finch and Robinson, that group, it was a great team. Of course, people don't remember back then, 16 teams, and uh, there were a lot of great teams that didn't get in because you had to win your conference. You had to, to get win there. your conference championship. Now, some people would say, well, you've got to play these extra two games now, so it was easier then. It was harder then. These first, if you're a good team, those first two games, they might be tough, but more often than not, if you're a top 10 team, they're not that tough. So it was a lot more difficult to win that conference championship outright. Well, how ironic is this? We got Coach with us, and the Tigers are playing their best basketball of the evening. They're on a 12-0 run. I think Gene's the good luck charm. <laughs> it's 54-38 after that John Grace three. Well, I'm a John Calipari fan, and uh, I think he's getting them, getting them ready to roll. And of course, uh, you, you got, uh, you got an awfully hard game coming up Wednesday night, though. So. Certainly, it was a pleasure having Thank you with us, Keith. Thank nice you very to be much. With you. Thank you. 1542 remaining in this one. John Grice's three gives the Tigers a 54 to 38 advantage. Great. Okay, great. Sonic, it's Feel Good Food Month featuring the classics you love, like our extra long cheese coney topped with meaty chili and cheddar cheese, together with our crispy tater tots for just $2.99. Only at Sonic. 
drive the all-new 2003 Ford Expedition with this outstanding offer. Get $2,000 cash back plus $1,500 for returning Ford lease customers. That's up to $3,500 cash back on the totally redesigned 2003 Expedition with over 123 new innovations including 14 plus exclusive features like a powerful third row seat. Get up to $3,500 cash back on Ford Expedition but hurry. See your local Ford dealer today. From early mornings to late nights, from the store around the corner to business around the country, your whole family can count on the best wireless network in the nation, Verizon Wireless. Get the America's Choice National Family Share Plan and share unlimited night and weekend minutes on up to four separate lines. Hurry and buy an LG phone for $49.99 after rebate. Plus, now get unlimited text messaging for only $2.99 monthly access. So no one's ever out of the loop. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Can you hear me now? Good. Since 1970, Champion has provided trophies, plaques, and recognition products to the Mid-South. Champion can provide over 50,000 promotional products for businesses, schools, or churches. Call our customer service department at 365-4830 today. Tiger fans, visit our University of Memphis merchandise booth located at the Pyramid between Gates 3 and 4. Tigers now shooting 61% and they lead by 16. Making it clear no matter where news happens in your neighborhood across America or the world, when news breaks, we'll bring it to you. Eyewitness News coming up right after the game on UPN 30 WLNT. Jackson 16 is Hollywood's hottest stories. Behind the scenes action and exclusive interviews on Entertainment Tonight. Weeknights at 6 on Jackson 16 WJKT. That foul go against Jeffrey Collins of UAB. That's his second, and that's the fourth team foul against UAB. The Tigers also with four. As we welcome back Doug Collins sitting in with us. There's Grice, long range three. That was beyond NBA three there. Doug, you mentioned that you were a student, though, when we talked at halftime in 73. What was it like on campus? Was there a lot of electricity with excitement? <laughs> That'll be Lee Cobb calling for the personal number 15. And now five against the Blazers and wholesale changes for John Calipari's team. Chris Massey back in, got a nice spell from Odebo Diara. Also Clyde Wade did a nice job. One thing the Tigers have, John, now certainly is that depth. The next four or five minutes, again, very, very important to maintain this lead, not allow UAB any opportunity to get back in the ball game. Keep the pressure on. The game was tied at 26 at the 7-0-4 mark in the first half, and since the Tigers on a 28-12 run. Burks with the strip on Jones. What a play. Pick up the Tigers, four on two. Burks. Oh, we got a whistle. And we got a technical foul. A technical foul called, I guess, against Mike Anderson. I'm not sure if Richard Jones said anything, but it had to be against Mike Anderson. Take a look at this threat. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's been Burke's night. That's I'm able to knock it away. That's right in front of the Blazer bench. That's just frustration. Mike Anderson not happy about it. He wanted a foul. Didn't get it. Said uh, one too many things and was teed up. John Bryce at the free throw line. And he misses the first one flat on that shot. He shoots 75%. From the charity stripe. I wasn't sure if Jones said something quickly, John, after he was stripped. But obviously, after looking at Mike Anderson off the bench and jumping about 10 feet into the air, it was Anderson caught for the tick. We'll take a look at it. Burke's able to come around. What he felt was there was a foul. Jones actually hit the deck, and that's where Anderson he comes on the court. That's an automatic. And he's, he's almost a part of the play there. Football, that'd be a late hit. But he can't come on the floor. That's an automatic. Come out of that coach's box. He's trying to do anything he can at this juncture. His team down by 16. Played very well the first 10 minutes of the game. Now they're struggling of late. And that's Cobb tripping Jeremy Hunt. That's his second. And UAB now with six team fouls. Make it seven. That'll put the Tigers in the bonus. Jeremy Hunt at the line. Shooting one and one. Jeremy Hunt to the free throw line. He has two points on the evening. Tigers are 11 and two, by the way, when leading at half. It's the roll. That's a good sign for a shooter when it gets all the rim. Finds a way to go in. John Calipari with a smile. Good to see. UAB, by the way, two and five when trailing 
at halftime. Hunt now with four. The Tigers shooting 59 and a half percent. And the rebounding wars all of a sudden become close. 21-19 now, and they make it 21-20 as Rice gets the rebound. Tigers. He's been unconscious today. And the lead is 21. Greg, what's been impressive is Burks hadn't forced anything. Everything has come out of the context of the offense or transition. And he is creating some real problems for the Blazers. There's Tony Johnson for three. Averages just a little over a point a game. Not much of a score, but he hits the triple. And here's that 2-2-1, uh, four-court press. Got to stay out of the corners, keep it in the middle. When you're in the middle of the floor, that gives you all the options you want. Very difficult to double team in the middle. Good shot by Rice from the right wing. Anthony Rice has 12 all on triples. Rice is now 4 of 4 from beyond the arc. The Tigers are 10 of 17. And the Tigers lead is 21. Mike Anderson's going to sub his entire team during the next break. That one way up the target. Mike Anderson just looked at that shot and goes, what in the world did you just do? We're down by 21 and you launch that shot. Five replacements coming in now for the Blazers. South Florida winner today quite easily over Houston. St. Louis beat up on East Carolina. Billiken's playing some good ball. That was the uh, game of the day. Louisville over Marquette, 73-70. And then DePaul beat Southern Miss, 74-69 in overtime. Look at that one in OT. Charlotte beat Cincinnati. Things are really tightening up in both divisions of Conference USA. That's four losses now for the Bearcats in the American Division, 6 and 4. Very good characteristic for Bob Huggins in Cincinnati. Finley with his fourth triple, he quietly has 14, averaging 17 and a half game. Certainly nothing guaranteed for Cincinnati. The Tigers in a great position now to go to Louisville and then home to Cincinnati to really make some noise in the conference. And that'll change the complexity of the seeding for the Conference USA Tournament, which will be played at Freedom Hall in Louisville. Well, again, I've always felt that the last couple of weeks before you go into your conference postseason tournament, you really want to be playing well. It's very difficult to jumpstart momentum in a tournament. You want to go into that tournament with a lot of confidence and playing well. So the Tigers uh, apparently peaking at about the right time. Massey caught for the offensive foul, and that's three against Big Chris. When we talk about the American, of course, Louisville, this has been updated. Louisville, again, we mentioned big win uh, at Marquette, Cincinnati. Four losses, DePaul winning earlier today, and Charlotte uh, with the big surprise. Cincinnati has impressive wins over Oklahoma State and Oregon, but they're 14-7 and seven overall. John Calipari has made this argument before that the Tigers have better quality wins than Cincinnati, and if it came down to those two teams, why not Memphis? Memphis with a win today, go to 16-5. and five. Well, The bottom line is you don't want to put yourself in that last run. Go ahead and continue to win where you take any questions out of the equation. Absolutely. Great strip there by Rice. Here comes Billy Richmond leading the break. Put a fork in that thing. It goes out of bounds off UAB. It'll be Tiger basketball. Each team has committed 13 turnovers as you get a good glimpse of John Calipari. Clyde Wade running the point, and Anthony Rice gets stripped by Eddins and slams it down at the other end. Eddins now has five, and the lead is cut to 16 at 62-46. Joining us now, uh, one of the key members of that 1973 Final four team that was honored at halftime. The big cat, Ronnie Robinson. Ronnie, thanks for joining us. And that was a special minute moment. Had to be uh, getting back together with some old teammates. Bush taking it to the hole for four points now in the evening for Eric Bush. 
A nice move right down the pipe. Massey unable to get there in time. A little too easy. Takes a seat on the deck. John Calipari calls for a timeout after a couple of quick buckets by UAB to pull them back to within 14. As you see the second half field goal shooting, 8 of 11, the Tigers, and the lead again, 14. Ronnie, how emotional was it tonight to get out here in front of the crowd and have them acknowledge uh, all your accomplishments and have all the gang back? Uh, it was great. Like I said, thank you to guys. Come out. I find it delight the way we came out uh, with Larry being here and the rest of the teammates. You know, everybody is uh, still living and, uh, you know, it's just wonderful. It's, you can't experience a moment like this. It's just beautiful. Ronnie, uh, aside from the obvious, uh, any special memories that you have from that uh, enchanted trip to St. Louis in 1973? Anything particular in the game that stood out? Well, there's so much stood out in that game. Uh, just being on the floor uh, in the foul two and, you know, uh, we, I, I, like I always considered it uh, to be, you know, both teams number one when you get that far. And just unfortunately, it's to lose. But other than that, just being in the foul two, you know, like this, I just threw it within itself. Well, it was a magical run, as Coach Bartow said. Uh, some really difficult teams that that you had to defeat along the way, but also you had some lopsided wins against South Carolina, Kansas State, and Providence. Very impressive run to the final. Exactly. Well, when you reach, well when you get to that point, uh, you got to let everything just go. You know, and that's what uh, we end up doing, and uh, we took us pretty far. Poor job by the Tigers getting back on defense there as Eden scores and is fouled by John Grice after a two-on-one break led by Chris Massey. The big guy right here going to John Grice. You don't often see that two-on-one, John, with Massey and Grice running the floor. He made a nice decision, a simple pass, and they get the bucket. Eddins to complete the three-point play. He does. 10.48 to go, and we have a timeout on the floor. The great Ronnie Robinson joining us, and we'll continue with Ronnie when we return. The Tigers lead it by 13. I don't know where we're going to get the money to redo the kitchen. Or to send Andrew to college. These bills. Did you hear that? What was that? Get the money out of your house with a home equity loan from First Tennessee. You could even get a tax deduction. How scary is that? It starts with the best-selling car in America. Then you add in a very low interest rate and the best selection in the Mid-South. And you get the best deal in Memphis. Now get 1.9 financing on any new Toyota Camry in stock. That's 1.9. That could save you over $1,600. The best cars, the best deals can only be found at Covington Pike, Chuck Hutton, or Performance Toyota. Hurry before it all ends February 28th. Hey folks, Mike Bowen for Champion Awards. Since 1970, Champion has provided trophies, plaques, and recognition products to the Mid-South. Champion is also the largest t-shirt printer in Memphis, but no order is ever too small. Also, our embroidery department can supply all of your corporate apparel. Champion can provide over 50,000 promotional products for businesses, schools, or churches. Please call our customer service department at 365-4830 today. As always, I thank you for your business. Promotional consideration supplied by Budget Rent-A-Car. Not just a rental service, Budget Rent-A-Car of Memphis offers a variety of vehicles and friendly customer service at five convenient locations, taking care of all your car rental and car sales needs. Yep, you heard it right. Budget not only rents, but also sells its quality cars at wholesale prices. Call 901-322-2222 for more info. Come see why Budget is the difference. And here's tonight's supersonic shot of the game brought to you by the Brown Bank Special only at Sonic America's drive through Antonio Burks driving through the lane and the dipsy do for two. Again, look at Burks showing that speed and athleticism as he lays it up and lays it in. And he has our supersonic shot of the game. 10.48 to go in the second half, 64-51 Tigers. And we have so many special people with us tonight. I thought Ronnie was going to be back, but from Ronnie Robinson, we go to another Tiger great, Larry Keenan. And Larry, we appreciate you being with us. Welcome. Thank you very much. Very emotional, as we mentioned uh, and talked with Ronnie, and of course, uh, your coach, uh, Gene Barto, that uh, tonight getting everybody together in front of this crowd uh, brought some tears to many guys' eyes. 
Ah, yeah, it was a very emotional uh, outburst tonight to see all those guys be on the floor again after 30 years, and it was great. It really was. Chris, Chris Massey, yeah, John? Pretty good uh, decision down low. Remember another guy uh, used to do something similar to that. Uh, Special K over here. Larry, I also want to say the fans really have connected. Of course, so many fond memories from so many people that uh, spent a lot of time at the Mid-South Coliseum, followed you guys at St. Louis and whatnot, but the fans really enjoyed seeing uh, this team back here tonight. Uh, and also, we got a, a, a great, a great uh, enjoyment from being here and, and seeing the fans again, and it was just great all the way around. Now you are still living in San Antonio where you enjoyed uh, a very successful professional career for many years. Yes, I do. Uh, I've been in San Antonio now for about uh, maybe the last 21, 22 years. 9.50 to go, sorry John, 9.50 to go, first, uh, second half I should say, and the Tigers lead to 16, Massey by the way now with a double-double, 10 rebounds, 10 points. Have you enjoyed watching the Spurs franchise uh, uh, become such an integral part uh, in the NBA and so recognizable? Uh, yes, they are, they are, they, they put together a real good program, and uh, they've grown, the community has grown, and, and yes, I have. I've, I've enjoyed watching them. Burks continuing to have an outstanding opportunity. Career night for Antonio Burks. Left hand move, up and over. Made it look easy in traffic. And he converts a three point play. He sure does, Larry. I know you played with uh, a lot of quick guys in your career. At number one's a pretty quick player, isn't he? Uh, yes, he's a pretty quick guy. Um, I have played with a lot of other quick guys, but it uh, seemed like from here, from the court side, he's a pretty quick guy. Yes, he is. And it was a good looking Larry Keenan. We welcome you back. Greg Gaston, John Albright, 9.21 to go in the second half, and the Tigers with the lead. Are you able to keep up with uh, the University of Memphis and look at the box scores and how they're well, going? Well, you know, they don't get a lot of play in, in the paper down out in the Southwest, but uh, I saw two games on ESPN this year. And matter of fact, I saw the Tulane game Thursday night where they won by one point. And every chance I get, believe me, I, I'm, I'm there. I'm a Tiger fan, and I wear my Tiger gear every chance I get. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your greatest memory from that special year? Do you have one? My greatest memory probably is playing in the Mid-South Coliseum and coming out and that place was so bright and uh, Billy Buford uh, would come out and we would have we would, we would have a little uh, passing drill between the two of us and he had that big smile on his face and all the people there I thought I was playing in my backyard. <laughs> UAB now 6 of 11 from the free throw line. Make it 6 of 12, so only 50% for a team that shoots 70. And a little roughhousing going on here between Morris Finley and Jeremy Hunt, but good job by the officials to quickly get in the middle and separate the two. That's a good job by Hunt walking away. Cooler hits prevail. Tigers have already had one altercation this year with some guys had sit out some games. Smart move by the freshman. Walked away from it because he knew he was going to line to shoot some free throws. Now remember last year the Tigers put a beating on UAB here at the Pyramid. But John, a different story when they went down to Birmingham. The last time he, these teams met, 64-46 UAB. So you better believe this is one that uh, Mike Anderson and his team will store in the memory bank for when they play again. And that will be the final game of the regular season on March 8th. As a player, Larry, you don't forget, John. You don't forget those beatings, do you, if you get a chance to play that team again? No, you don't. No, you don't. You get prepared and you're ready to go. And uh, this game is played on emotion, no matter how you cut the uh, pot. Eddie's driving off the window. Nice kiss. Mario Eddie's now has eight. The lead is 16. Burks the alley. Oh, right there for Jeremy Hunt. Beautifully executed by Burks and Hunt. Well, again, Burks was a one-man press break, and he was able to go so easily through the pressure. And perfect timing between he and Hunt. Foul called against John Bryce. That is his fourth personal foul. And you look at the one-man press break. Catches Hunt. Eye contact out of the corner of his eye and threw it up perfectly. 
Nice catch and finish for the freshman. And I love the look away by Burks as he threw up the alley-oop. Antonio Burke's numbers, guys, 10 of 13 from the field. He has 21 points, 8 assists, and a couple of rebounds. He's doing it all tonight. Hey, I want to ask you a little bit about the championship game. You had 20 points in that game. You picked up maybe a couple of questionable fall fouls late in that first half, and it was tied up at 39 all. Any key moment in that second half that really uh, turned the tide for UCLA? You know what? Uh, a lot of people ask me about that game, but I, I really don't remember anything about that game. The only thing that I do remember is that that was the first time in my life I've ever really been nervous. Uh, I knew I was in a big game, and I had butterflies. So... Uh, I really don't have a, a big memory of that game, but I do remember uh, Bill Walton going 20 for 21. <laughs> Hard to forget, huh? <laughs> so that part I do remember. <laughs> I get reminded everywhere, believe me. <laughs> well, you had so. 20 points in that contest, and you certainly held your own. Well, the fact of the matter is I held my own, but, you know, we didn't win, and we had won all year as a team. And, and that's the big thing about our team. We we, we won and, uh, as a team, and, and we lost as a team. So we uh, we didn't win, so that it wasn't a good experience for him. Carney with the three there. He now has four triples. The Tigers are 11 of 18 from beyond the arc. This is Larry Keenan, one of the great members of that 73 Final Four team that was honored at halftime tonight here at the Pyramid. And how about Larry Fitch? Uh, that had to be very, very emotional for you. Well, you know, um, it was kind of emotional, but as an athlete, you know, uh, we're getting older. We, 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 we're 50, 51 years old, and, 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 and you know, strokes and heart attacks and those type of things uh, come along with age, and that is one of the good things about being an athlete is that we will, uh, we will fight through. We don't accept defeat very easily, and I'm sure that he's going to fight and, and, and rehabilitate himself. And so I didn't really feel, I really didn't feel a whole lot sorry for him. Uh, I just think that he knows what he needs to do, and, and, and I think he's going to come around and get a little bit better. Well said, Larry. Tigers now with 16 turnovers. UAB has committed 13. As usual, it's in the favor of the Blazers. They're a very good team as far as causing opponents to turn the ball over. Nice rebound there by Rodney Carney. Under the eight-minute mark, the Tigers trying to pad that 17-point lead. And who is it? It's Brooks again. Just an unbelievable night. The lead is 19. Burks with 23 points. And there's a strip by Burks. Collins, no chance to get it from behind. I got a feeling, John, here's another steal. Oh. Harvey slams it. Oh, my gosh, the Tigers have exploded. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, Larry, this might be your first. Oh. Well, you said you watched the Tigers a couple oh. of times on TV, but that's, he has man hops. Oh, uh, let me tell you. Ronnie Carney has man hops. In, 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 in our business, that's called uh, save the ladies and hide the babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nasty. That was nasty. Impressive in traffic gets the dunk and the foul. And that has got everybody in the house standing. Oh, including me. <laughs> Plus the foul. Carney will go to the line. John Calipari talking with referee Larry Ware. I'll tell you what, they've come out tonight, John. At first, I didn't know how good the crowd was, but it is packed here at the pyramid. They've come out for a Red Hot Tigers team and to honor the 73 team. Larry Keenan, certainly a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, guys. Pleasure to be here. Larry, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Antonio Burks with the steal, and he puts it away down at the other end. The Tigers in total control. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Tom Butler. Coming up tonight, students of this city school are actually tested for lead poisoning today. What were the results and is this school safe? We'll take a look. They were banging the anti-war drums today, nationally and right here in the Mid-South, and they think their effort is growing. And what are the odds of a set of twins having their children on the same day? And both babies are boys. Plus, Mark Walden has your first alert forecast. We'll see you right here at 9 o'clock. Kiss baby. What are you doing? I'm getting rid of these monsters. Bob's pet choir. I'm selling them on an internet auction site. I've got to upload all these shots before he wakes up. 
Roadrunner High Speed Online makes auctions easy. Download dozens of pictures in seconds. Whether you're buying or selling, exceed your speed with Roadrunner High Speed Online. Call 259-1111 and for a limited time, get Roadrunner for three months at half price. Come on, Joey, let's have some of Grandma's old recipe ice cream. Wow, it sure looks good. It is, Joey. There's a whole world of wonderful flavors in her old recipe ice cream. It starts with fresh cream and cane sugar, then in go all kinds of other great tasting treats. Gosh, did Grandma make it herself? Of course not, Joey. She goes to the store and buys it like everybody else. <laughs> Taste the premium quality of old recipe ice cream from Prairie Farms. Hotel accommodations provided by Hampton Inn and Suite Shady Grove. We're with you all the way. The Tigers have hit 16 of their 21 shots in the second half. Of course, dunks and layups will help with that percentage. And they lead it now by 24, 83, 59. Greg Gaston, John Albright, and Doug Collins joining us here in the second half. And Doug's been very gracious because he's been back and forth as we allowed Ronnie Robinson and Larry Keenan and Gene Barto to join us. You're a sport, Doug. I've, I've had the best seat in the house to get a chance to see the greats from uh, 73. How about the Tigers' performance tonight? Darn good in the second half, isn't it? It's been excellent. It's uh, so much better than the second half against Tulane earlier in the year. A lazy pass, and Bush able to step in and come up with it. Well, UAB won't quit. You better believe Mike Anderson will have his team hustling in the last second. Clyde Wade and out of control, waiting for the charge was Gabe Kennedy. And quickly Burks off the bench, he'll come in and replace Clyde Wade. What a difference when Burks is in there, John. You, you can't say it enough, but you, you just see the difference in this team, the way he runs the show. Bob's experience, of course, he's been there before. He's clearly one of the leaders of his, his team, and Clyde Wade, tough move. He had the right idea, he was going to dish it off, just could put the brakes on in time to avoid the foul. But Burks with a career night, look at that. Nearly a double-double in terms of points and assists, and he has lit it up from the floor. 12 of 15. Again, what's impressed me, yes, the points, but his shot selection. He has not forced a shot, Greg, that I remember on the evening. He just made everything he's thrown up. And he's one point away from his career high. 26 is career high. Going into the game, he has 25. Kennedy at the free throw line. He has seven. It's 83-62. And it stays that way as he misses the second. Irwin with the rebound. 7.15 to go. Tigers looking for their fifth consecutive win. Again, they've done a pretty good job breaking the pressure tonight of uh, UAB, John. Yeah, again, Burke's primarily the one that can do it by himself and put such a pressure on your defense that one guy's so quick with the ball. Nice top of the key for three, not that time. Memphis 11 of 19 from beyond the arc. <laughs> Burks with a reach in, called for the foul. Both teams, by the way, are in the double bonus. A lot of fouls taking place here in the second half. That's the second against Burks. And Richard Jones will go to the free throw line. Jones, explosive on the bench for Mike Anderson in the first half at 12, sit in the second half. Good look at Mike. 21 years together with Nolan Richardson. The last 12 as the lead assistant at the University of Arkansas, but he's got a chance to go back home. Birmingham native in his first year with the Blazers. Well, you can't buy them because it's sold out, so you're going to have to win them. Watch UPN 30 beginning Monday from 5 to 7. We're the only place that can give you Jay-Z tickets. Watch and win. WLMT UPN 30 beginning Monday from 5 to 7. Full court pressure again by the Blazers. And right side of the strike. I think the dribble up until you cross the timeline. And Rice forced to call the timeout. timeout. Absolutely, John. He picked up the dribble, got double teamed, and he was in Mike Anderson. no man's land. He wanted the five-second closely guarded call. Not going to get it. 
Our next telecast of University of Memphis Tigers basketball comes your way Wednesday, February 26, when the Tigers entertain the Horn Frogs of TCU. That's Wednesday, February 26th, starting at 7. Lots to cheer about tonight. We told you it would be a wild night, folks. Guests all over the place. 7-3 Final Four team honored. And a great crowd on hand at the Pyramid. We hope you're enjoying it from the comfort of your living room. Can't say enough about number one. Doug, is he as fast this close? Uh, is he up where you normally sit? You know, he is so fast, but when you get down on the floor, the speed of the game, <laughs> it, and they're so much bigger. Even Antonio Burks is so much larger than I thought he was. Yeah, it's a little misleading until you get down here at court level. You see the big guys underneath. Uh, they can move some people around when they want to. Burks is an assist away from a double-double. He has nine to go along with the 25 points. Massey, his usual double-double, 10 points and 12 rebounds. Shot clock now inside five. Burks falling away, and there's a career high for Antonio Burks. Why not? Everything dropping for Burks. Why not? Jones had a shot altered early with the rebound. Tigers now 28 27. They're leading the rebounding battle. Dangerous pass there. Here's Hunt. Needs nice. to promote Debo the honor. He's just entered the game. And Debo is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Well, UAV second in the nation, forcing turnovers. They're averaging 23 a game. They have 18 tonight. And they're tied for first in steals, 12 per game. They have 11 tonight. John Calipari took Jeremy Hunter on the side. I know he said, finish the play. That time he wanted to go ahead and a nice drive. And he got a big grin, and he got Hunt over there. And I think he was just telling him to go ahead and finish the play. Once you get inside the lane, that deep, finish it. Debo 75% from the free throw line, but he clanks that one. I want to ask you a question. I mentioned earlier that you were the president this year of the Tennessee Association of Realtors, which uh, the Memphis community is very honored to have you uh, represent us statewide. Some of the highlights uh, are your responsibilities in that regard. Well, I'm doing a lot of traveling all over the state, and uh, really we look at, on the, on the Tennessee level, we look at the uh, legislative issues and how they affect real estate. We're really uh, interested in predatory lending law that's being considered by the state right now. Well, again, we're so appreciative of all the things that uh, you are doing on behalf of so many different uh, realtors and organizations uh, across uh, this fine state. Uh, we appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Offensive foul called against Dewan Irwin, who's replaced by Chris Massey. That's three now on Irwin. As I mentioned, both teams in the double-double. Or the double bonus, I should say. A double-double on my mind with Burks. Just an assist away, and Massey already there at 10 and 12. You know, guys, this is the kind of win that really sets you up well to go to a very, very difficult environment where the Tigers will head to later on this week or early next week, Freedom Hall. You want to go up there with a lot of confidence. It will be a battle. The crowd is very intimidating, tremendous home court advantage. But this is the type of effort that uh, does the Tigers very well in terms of going up there with some solid momentum. And who knows, stranger things have occurred. Finley bombs away, air ball on the three, and Debo wrestles up the loose ball, gives it to Burks. It's amazing how an air ball can always get you a lot of friends in a row. <laughs> Well, yeah, John, I think you make a great point because playing a team like UAV with their high intensity and the fact that they press from the start of the game to the finish, that's what Louisville does. Louisville with a lot of intensity and having that game under your belt to go to Louisville, that's certainly going to help. Good job by Debo. That time came right in and picked it up. Yeah, you're going to go into a very hostile environment. Uh, Louisville, of course, losing earlier uh, in this, this week to St. Louis. We had a tough game against uh, Marquette today. And an old rivalry will be resumed in Freedom Hall. Massey, man to man. That's one guy on Massey, and that's what happens when teams play him one on one. That's why most don't play him that way, Doug. It's usually two or three on one. Yeah, here's that size we talk about down here up close and personal. Mr. Davis, no match individually for Massey. The bucket and the three-point opportunity. Again, no defensive help. This is a mismatch. 
earlier in the game. You saw double and triple team, but because Burks has been so good offensively, they cannot afford to double and triple team Massey down low, and that's a mismatch one-on-one. -on -one. There you see the numbers for Chris Massey, 5-9 from the field. This is the free throw attempt. 87-64, the Tigers by 23, four and a half to go in this one. Edmonds way downtown, and Burks gets a rebound. Why not? He's done everything else. Working against Bush, leaves it for Grice, top of the key, rattles it in. John Grice has four threes. Anthony Rice has four threes. Rodney Carney has four threes. The beat goes on, guys. They're 12 of 20 from beyond the arc. That is 60%. That is sizzle. And Burks now has his double-double at 27 points and 10 assists. Smiles from everybody. Antonio Burks leading the break. And John Grice knocking down the three. It's the Tigers 90 to 64. I want one size that fits me, not one size that fits all. I want to be able to change my mind for a change. I want a bargain without getting less than a bargain for it. All lots of choices. Just make it simple. Only Bell South has every answer. Local, long distance, singular wireless, internet services, and more on one bill. Call now to save up to 24% on select services. I want a new boyfriend. Listening, answering. Bell South. <laughs> hey, Franklin. Yes. Uh, about that promotion. That's not going to happen. Oh. Uh, but uh, I did get you a corn dog. Wait a corn Hey, uh, thanks. Uh, so we're cool, right? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Wow. It's Feel Good Food Month at Sonic, featuring the classics you love, like handmade onion rings, old-fashioned cherry limeades, and made-to-order burgers. And now get an extra-long cheese coney and tots for just $2.99. Not bad, Frank. That's what it's all about. <sighs> If you're buying or selling a home in this market, tap the power of Prudential Real Estate. Backed by a name trusted for more than 125 years, the Prudential Real Estate Network can get you moving. With more than 42,000 real estate sales professionals you can rely on in offices across North America. Each day, we're helping to bring thousands of buyers and sellers together. Call today and find out why millions of people are sold. Prudential Collins Maury Realtors is a proud sponsor of the University of Memphis. University of Memphis basketball on UPN 30 WLMT is brought to you by Performance Toyota, Chuck Hutton Toyota, and Covington Pike Toyota. Get the feeling, Toyota. And by Pizza Hut and the Tigers Family Feast Deal. A large specialty pizza and a large one-topping pizza, plus a side order of breadsticks for just $18.99. And tonight's Kroger player of the game is guess who? Antonio Burks. Kroger will make a $1,000 donation to the General Scholarship Fund at the University of Memphis in the name of tonight's player of the game. Congratulations to Antonio. Antonio Burks, our Kroger player of the game. What an outstanding night for Antonio Burks. And the Tigers setting a new scoring high for the season. Previously 85 against Tulane at home was the Tigers high and a chance to break that uh, century mark that the fans love to see so much of and couldn't come at a better time. Also the most of points UAB has allowed this year, 84 to UNLV and the Tigers have eclipsed that with 85. Carney for three, air ball. And an offensive foul against Modibo Diara. That's the second against Debo. Again, both teams in the double bonus. Earlier today in the Big East, John, some surprises. Villanova knocked off UConn, the 19th ranked team in the nation, 79-70. And the 18th ranked team, Syracuse, beat Notre Dame, who went in number 9, 82-8. And that certainly helps the Tigers' RPI because the Tigers have played and have beaten both Syracuse and Villanova. Yeah, after you get through beating a team, you really pull for them to do well in their respective uh, conference races. And certainly it really helps the Tigers in terms of the strength of their overall schedule. Tobias misses both free throws. If you got a lane violation, one of a couple of Tigers stepping in a little early. Tough night for Mike Anderson. Got his team playing well early on, and I think before it's all said and done, he will have the depth of athletes to really employ that full court pressure that he uh, enjoyed so much of as we talked earlier with Nolan Richardson at Arkansas. 
who likes the pressure and forcing an up-tempo type atmosphere. Tobias gets a reprieve on the lane violation, makes the second free throw his first point. 90 to 65. UAB is 9 and 1 this season when shooting better than 45% from the field tonight. Just 36.7%. The Tigers defense has done the job. There's another Tigers turnover though. They have committed 20. Make it 21. Top for three. First gets the rebound. Three minutes to go. No. And UAB throws it away. Exact track Doppler, the most accurate radar in the world, only on Eyewitness News, coming up after the game. And stay tuned, the WJKT, for an electrifying Newton X, following in the heat of the night on Jackson 16, WJKT. And a well-deserved hand for the man of the moment, Antonio Burks, career night. UAB has not made a field goal since the 7.42 mark. Okay, Greg, something else that's good to see. I see a lot of smiles. Obviously, the margin at this stage of the game, you're going to see a lot of that. This is a team that uh, needed a few fun moments, and I think that's great that they have an opportunity tonight to have a game where everybody contributes, everything went the way they wanted it, particularly in the second half, and a lot of smiles all around for the guys in blue tonight. Jeremy Hunt will go to the free throw line after that foul committed by Brandon Tobias. His second. Here's a look at the bench, and here's a look at Jeremy Hunt, number five. The freshman for Craigmont High School has seven points. He's been battling the flu about four or five days. Certainly want to thank our sponsors like First Tennessee, All Things Financial, always aboard with University of Memphis Tigers basketball, and of course Kroger and our friends at Kroger sponsoring the Kroger player of the game. Thanks to all our corporate sponsors. Jeremy, I can tell you for Rodney Cardi who lost control of the Rock. Boy, would have that been would that have been nice? For the folks that are still here, some have exited, but exited with smiles. Hunt uh, knows that Carney is trailing. Actually, Carney just took his eye off, but actually a pretty good pass. It's not always an easy play to execute. Clyde Wade plants the first free throw, and here comes Nathaniel Root in the game, replacing Rodney Carney. The Tigers from the free throw line tonight are 9 of 17 and 2 of their last 8. And that's going to be important, especially going into Louisville on Wednesday, John, where you figure that game to be a lot closer than this one. All right, well, the Tigers have got to cut down on some turnovers. Tonight they can continue to enjoy this cut down on some turnovers, and they must keep Louisville off the board. There's a couple of areas that the Tigers have got to shore up. And then the intensity that they have displayed here in the second half, more of that, not a chance. Yeah, Modibo Diara pushing Tobias out of bounds. We'll get called for his third personal. That'll send number 44, Brandon Tobias, to the free throw line. Tigers got out to a quick start in the second half. And the lead was never in jeopardy. Tobias missing the first free throw. Good look at Mike Anderson. As far as Tigers scoring is concerned, five players in double figures led by Antonio Burks with 27, John Grice is 17, Rodney Carney with 15, and 12 apiece for Chris Massey and Anthony Rice. Good balance scoring there, John. Even with Burks off for 27, you got five players in double figures. That's a good sign. Again, the more balanced you are, the more difficult it is for teams to defend you. Tonight, the Tigers certainly were not. There's Cobb for Greeno. Loose ball goes into the hands of Jones. Good call. Kicked off the leg of Brandon Tobias. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis basketball as Dewan Irwin checks back in, replacing John Grice. Not much tonight from Billy Richmond. 
hasn't played a lot of minutes. Just 0 of 1 from the field. And the Tigers again without the services of Big Earl Barron. And hopefully he'll be ready for Louisville, John. That's a, an added big man and they certainly can use him. Yeah, I think it's good the Tigers did not have to use Barron tonight. Still a little tender on that ankle. Give him a couple more days where he can rest it. Also get back in practice condition. Get back in the offense defense. Well, Debo with a nice move inside. Everybody getting in the scoring column tonight. Whacked a couple of times as he went up. No call, but he knocked one in off the window. And there's a big time rejection by Irwin. That's the sixth Tigers block of the evening. Punt. Cross court pass. Nathaniel Irwin for three. No. Irwin keeps it alive. Great job by Red. And then he loses it. Here comes Cobb and Jones behind the R, and he's going to slam it down. Richard Jones. 94-68. Got a one-second differential between the shot and the game clock. Cut inside. Fiora. Good defense. Here's Ruth. He's three of charm. No, it's not. It's tough. He hasn't played a lot. But he's always there. Working hard in practice and helping out this team as best he can. And then Debo slams Tobias. Both he and Hunt got him. Let's see who gets the call. It'll go against Modibo DR, and that's number four. Brandon Tobias and the Lambert 13.3 seconds to go, 94 68. Tigers will improve to 16 and 5, 7 and 3 in Conference USA play, and 12 and 2 at home. Here comes Garrett Green and Brian Mitchell. It's a mop up duty. They replace Jeremy Hunt, and who's going to go out? Because there's six Tigers on the floor. Clyde Wade saying, come on, I'm staying in. <laughs> it's Dewan Irwin. Never yeah, want you play with six. Not yet, anyway. We certainly want to thank again Blake Morgan and his family. And we certainly want to thank Doug Collins and the live television auction on UPN 30. Giving a lot of money to the University of Memphis Athletic Fund to be a part of this broadcast. And Doug, thanks for being with us. And just a real thrill sitting down here and seeing what you guys do with all the papers. Computers and TV monitors, it's been a lot of fun. Three, two, one, and that'll do it. The Tigers with a convincing win tonight over a pretty darn good UAB team. It's Memphis 94 and the Blazers 70. Tigers with their fifth win in a row, John. Yeah, again, just good to continue the momentum. I thought the second half... Very, very solid outing. The Tigers could, took control of this game the last five minutes of the first half and really able to cruise in the second half. Again, very solid momentum in order to go up to Louisville on Wednesday. So once again, there's your final score from the pyramid. The Tigers knocking off UAB 94 to 70. Antonio Burks, the superstar of the evening, and all smiles for A.B., the junior with 27 points, a career high, 10 assists, 4 rebounds, 13 of 16 from the field, and he gives strength and conditioning coach Brock Oliver a nice big hug as they head to the locker room. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! Did Greg, a lot of smiles on a lot of player and coaches' faces. That's a, it's a very healthy thing to see, particularly at this stage of the season. Once again, the Tigers knock off UAB 94-70 to improve to 16-5, 7-3 in Conference USA play. Our next University of Memphis basketball telecast will come your way Wednesday, February 26th at 7 when the Tigers host the Horn Frogs of TCU. Coming up next on UPN 30, it's Eyewitness News, followed by Mutant X and the Outer Limits. And next on Jackson 16, WJKT, Heat of the Night, followed by Mutant X and the Outer Limits. University of Memphis basketball has been an exclusive presentation of UPN 30, WLMT, Memphis, Tennessee. For John Albright, I'm Greg Gaston. Once again, our final score from the pyramid, the Tigers 94, UAB 70. Good night, everybody.